Hey guys, it's Jen, and do you notice something feels a little breezier today for some reason? <laughs> okay, just kidding. I did not actually cut my hair. I am going to show you guys how to do this super cute short hairstyle, even if you have long hair. Just to let you know, this looks especially adorable if you have layers, and it's just a really free, easy, Nice little change, cause not everybody wants to have one hairstyle all the time. I think it's adorable, and it's a great thing to wear to like a holiday party, or just when you wanna switch things up a bit. So if you wanna see how this look is done, then keep watching. Like with any heat-based styling, I'm going to protect my hair first. I'm using the Pantene Stylers Heat Protection Spray, and I'm just gonna spray that all over my hair. We're gonna be curling everything, so make sure you really cover this well. I'm just brushing the product through my hair. Next, I'm taking my clipless curling iron. This is a little bit smaller than I usually do for my everyday curls. It's maybe like one inch, one and a quarter inch, something like that. And I'm just going to curl all of the hair all over my head. <laughs> Now I'm just going all around the top half of my head and I'm going to extra curl some of the ones that are very near the top. This is going to help cover up any holes or spots in our hair where you can see that it's faking the short hair later on. So this step is actually really important. Big hair is what we want. That texture is really going to hide any areas that aren't perfect. All right, now I'm going to separate the top half of my hair from the bottom. I'm tying the remaining hair into a low ponytail and then I'm going to braid it and wrap it around and pin it back. This should help give that back part some volume and also get the bulk of the really, really long hair up and off your neck. Now I'm bringing the rest of my hair down and as you can see, because we curled it, it's considerably shorter. It's a lot less we have to worry about being way too long. So the main thing we're going to focus up here is giving this area a lot of volume. I'm just taking a comb and then I'm not gonna back comb this too hard. It's just gonna be really gentle. I'm taking my Pantene Shaping Hairspray and I'm going to the next section. I'm going to back comb this. Spray that. Now you should have some good volume up here. This hair is pinned back and you should have these big loose curls. So what we're going to do is we're not going to grab the hair that's all the way at the end. We're actually going to take a section that's like kind of near the bottom of the curls and we're going to like pull it up and tuck it inside the outer parts of the hair. So these sections that are kind of underneath grab about here and we're gonna just pull it upward. So where it curls under should be a little bit higher. We're going to take that Give it one little pinch twist. Pull that up, and then we're going to pin it to the hair that was pulled back. So it should still kind of have the little loose ends hanging down like that. So we're gonna go to this side, find the hair that's underneath, we're just going to do one little twist and then we're going to pull it up, pin it up. So then any layers that are kind of loose, you're just going to do that same thing. So this one's a little bit long. I'm taking it at about the middle section, just giving it one little twist there, finding an area to tuck it under back here. We're gonna just pin that up. It doesn't have to be too perfect and the thing that I really like about this version is it's actually like pretty secure and it looks really loose and natural. So I'm just gonna go around and get any remaining stragglers that could be a little bit shorter and pin them up. I'm 
When it's about the length and shape that you want it to be, go through with your hairspray just so it doesn't move around. And with short hair, I think it's even more fun to play around with accessories, so I'm going to use a little bow barrette. So this is my final short hair look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe it'll inspire you to make a huge change and actually cut your hair. If you guys are brave enough to do that, I would definitely encourage you to donate your hair on November 22nd. This is going to be a national donate your hair day and Pantene Beautiful Links is actually putting together a big event. It's going to happen in LA, New York, and Miami. So if you go to specific centers, you can actually get your hair cut and styled for free. They're going to gather all of that hair and make real wigs that will be distributed to American Cancer Society wig distribution centers, which is so amazing and such a good cause. And hey, everybody wants a little change every now and then. It's a great opportunity to take your little change and make a big change in somebody else's life. So I'm going to leave all of the information for that in a link down below if you would like to donate your own hair. And I guess that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, today I wanted to share my process of getting ready for a gorgeous day out to our local farmer's market, Croc Faux Hawk using ponytails. And I first saw this on the red carpet with Blake Lively. 